From ThinkGeek comes the Super Mario Chain Chomp Lamp. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. I'm really happy with this lamp, the way it looks, the design, I've had my eyes on it for a while. This is available on ThinkGeek right now, it's 50 US dollars. You can also find it in stores like GameStop or EB Games sometimes, depending on where you are from. This is an LED light, it is fully put together, so no assembly required when you get this. First of all, just taking a look at the box packaging, it looks pretty cool. We got the Super Mario Red, of course. On the side, we have a picture of the Chain Shop. Now, Chain Shop's really popular in games such as Super Mario 64, or even more recently, Super Mario Odyssey. It is a very novel character and kind of a unique idea with this chain and the chomp with the light inside of it, which looks pretty cool. The dimensions are on here. It's 294 by 150 by 354 millimeters. But more importantly, I guess I could say it's 10 inches deep, 18 or 19 inches tall, almost 20, depending on where you put the chain chomp head. And it has, I think, about a 6-inch base or 5-inch base, which is the cube. Now, on the bottom of this box, there's nothing on there, of course. And on the top, we have the Super Mario logo. This box was slightly damaged when I got it from the store. Now, when you open up this box... I'm not going to show everything for the unboxing for it because this does come with styrofoam and the styrofoam pieces were an absolute mess so just warning, maybe unbox this or take it out of the box maybe when you're in the garage or somewhere outside because the small pieces of styrofoam went absolutely everywhere but once they told me that they looked at one already and they pulled it out of the box I was kind of interested just to do it myself but when I tried to do an unboxing video it really just went everywhere so because it's already completely assembled here it is right now in all of its glory with its cord. Now it's staring right at you in the face to turn it on its side right here. This is pretty heavy. It weighs six and a half pounds from their online ad. It does say ages 14 and up, and it does come with the electrical plug. Now I'm going to mention the electrical plug is a USB cable, which I do think is a really good idea. You can probably use this with some other plugs into the wall. It does come with a plug into the wall, but it's one of those that takes up a lot of space, which is pretty foolish. So that's my main concern or qualm with this, is I wish that this was a lot simpler in terms of how you plug it into the wall, but you can plug it into anything USB, which is a nice option. I am going to plug this in. Now the switch for this is on and off. So let me just turn this on for you so that you can see what this looks like when it is turned on, just to give you an initial impression of this lamp. Moving it back so you can fully see it. Now, I think this is a really neat idea, and when I first saw it, I thought the chain itself would be movable, but the chain is completely stationary, you cannot move the chain, but the chain chomp head, you can swivel it up, you can swivel it down, and it does swivel side to side as well. So there is a lot of movement in terms of the head on the chain chomp, so you can display it in any way that you want, but the S pattern on the chain is going to be set. The black cord is, goes inside of the chain chomp up and around, and I do like the design of the chain chomp itself. The teeth on the chain chomp are not poseable, but they do move. They are, I'm not sure exactly what material this is, but you can move it. Just to turn off the light for a second so you can see inside what kind of lamp this is. This LED lamp, I'm told, you cannot replace. On the website for ThinkGeek, though, it says it's supposed to last a minimum of 30,000 hours, which basically when I was talking to the staff members of the store that I bought it from, they said if you leave it on for like 20 years, 6 hours a day, it should basically stay and it won't break over time, but I really wish it was replaceable. So that's my second issue with this lamp. I really wish you could replace the bulb. Maybe there's a way if you take it entirely apart, but not that I am familiar with. There is a small seam that you can see on the chain chomp, of course. It's cut in half, but overall, this is a really nice design. The base is very heavy. On the bottom, it does give you a lot of warnings that I'll just put up there for now. If you would like to pause the video, you can read any of that information if you so choose. And some other people, my parents, they were just kind of going like, what is the base? Well, the base is basically a question mark box that's being hit. So it does look Nintendo theme and it does look pretty cool. And especially when you turn this on, so this would be a great item to have in an office. You can just put a spotlight basically on an item. I don't think this is going to light up your room very well. You can point it up and get a little bit more light. It does not go fully up. That is the highest up that it goes, but it does swivel as well. So you can put this as a spotlight on certain items. But if you're looking to fill up your entire room with light, I don't think this is going to be what you are looking for. So as I said, it swivels. 
really odd or awkward positions it can swivel into, which is kind of neat, but it's not fully movable. It, it moves more than I thought, but not as much as I would really hope if I designed this myself. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool lamp. I give it a thumbs up. I think for $50, it's a pretty unique item. I wish I could replace the bulb and have it last forever, but I do think it's a pretty cool addition to my Nintendo room. You're going to see this in my next room tour video, which is coming at some point in March. If you haven't checked out my other unboxing video for my Super Mario Question Block lamp, you might want to check that out because that one is pretty cool as well. That was only $40. So it's a little bit less expensive. I do have that one here. I'll post the unboxing video for this one as a card beside the video. So make sure to check that out as well in the top right hand corner of the video. So let me know what you think or which one of these two lamps is your favorite, the chain shop lamp or the question block lamp for Super Mario. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.